everybody, I'm Itab Elliot, just making a quick video for you about weight loss, and uh, weight lost, and uh, I just wanted to uh, talk to you about how to lose weight, how to stay in shape um, without losing your mind, because uh, so many people are trying to lose weight these days, and, and the focus is on losing, and I really like, I listened to an Anthony Robbins uh, health talk a few years ago, and he said, uh, you know, the, the key part of the word diet is the word die. So you're, you're already, you're, you're feeling threatened. And this is what's happening is people are, are worrying about portion sizing and about eating, you know, cutting things out. But the way I want to get you to think about losing weight is I want you to be able to eat as much as you want. So eat as much as you want. It's just the types of foods that we're talking about. Now, if you want to eat fruits and vegetables, you can eat as much as you want, and you will lose weight. Now, of course, if you eat 70 million bananas a day, you probably still lose weight, to be honest. But if you're, if you're eating that on top of burgers and stuff in the evening or whatever, um, you're going to have a hard time. But when we talk about just fresh fruits and vegetables, you can basically eat as much as you want. Vegetables, you can eat it all day long, all day long, and you'll also get all your proteins from your fruits and vegetables. So the time when you're growing the fastest in your life is when you're a baby. And what do babies eat? They eat mother's milk. And mother's milk has something like 1.9% protein, I believe. Super low, super low. And they recommend 10%, which is huge. It's insane. It's crazy. You don't need that much protein because your body actually recycles protein. So I just wanted to get you to... Look at, look at food a different way, look at dieting, look at uh, losing weight a different way, and don't think so much about cutting things out. Think about what you can add in. Add in broccoli. It's something like 37% protein. Awesome. And it's in the form of amino acids. So amino acids are good because they're absorbable. Now, if you eat meat or anything like uh, chicken or steak or fish or uh, eggs, um, these are all in the form of proteins already, so your body has to break them down into amino acids so that it can use it. This is already in amino acid form, so eat as much as you want. It's low calorie, and it's high nutrition, and this is the key to health. Now, I realize a lot of people lose want to lose weight for vanity reasons, but we really should be looking at weight um, and health for health reasons. We should be looking at our body type and our body size as, is it healthy or not? Not does it look good or does it look like the people on, on the magazines or in, on television. So eat as much uh, broccoli as you want. You can eat, in fact, you can get all your protein needs just from, bro from broccoli. <laughs> you can get enough protein just from broccoli. And the scientific studies, the real scientific studies, show that you only need 18 to 22 grams of protein per day. And the U.S. Uh, was it the USDA or, or the FDA or whatever, um, USDA, I believe, recommend something like 65 grams of protein, which is protein poisoning, protein toxicity. Because when you eat protein, the byproduct is nitrogen, and nitrogen makes you tired. It's toxic to the body. The body can't process it. So you need amino acids. You don't need protein. Celery. Eat as much celery as you can. Man, this is like a superfood. It's high water content. And this is the other thing. The thing about um, you know losing weight is Everybody's trying to drink and drink more water, drink more water. But if you eat fruits and vegetables, you'll get the water content, especially vegetables like bok choy, celery, uh, bell peppers, my favorite. Bell peppers, eat bell peppers all day long. They get lots of vitamin C. And, and the other thing is when you eat lots of vegetables, you'll get your fiber too so that your digestion will work better and work faster. Um, carrots, I don't eat many carrots, but they're good for your eyes. High water content. All vegetables are high water content. And the, the thing about the water content in vegetables versus uh, drinking water is it's highly structured water. So it's alkalizing. It's full of minerals and, and your body can actually use it. So when you eat fruits and vegetables, it's highly assimilable. So assimilable. So you can actually use it and your body can absorb the water. So when you're drinking you know, water that doesn't have the proper ratios of minerals, and, and uh, um, then your body's saying, like, well, I don't really know what to do with this. And um, in uh, vegetables, it's uh, organic. It's been processed by the plant. It's been absorbed by the plant. And we can absorb um, minerals in vegetables a lot easier than we can 
in uh, rock format, um, which is like in spring water. It's in uh, little mini, mini, tiny little rocks is what it really is. It's dissolved solids. So basically, think about dieting a different way. Think about losing weight a different way. Eat as much vegetables as you want. Eat as much fruit as you want. Don't worry about it. Take it easy on the fats. Now, avocados is a really great healthy food, but I wouldn't eat like 10 of them a day. You know, you go, oh, it's vegetables, fruit. You know, so there are a few things you got to watch. The nuts and seeds you got to watch. Um, if you eat the bulk of your diet from fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables, um, small amounts of nuts and seeds, um, and cut out all the processed food, but don't think about cutting it out. Just think about adding in good stuff. So don't don't even change your diet. Just add in fruits and vegetables. Say, okay, like 80% of my plate needs to be vegetables. And then what are you going to have room for? Not much, you know what I mean? So, and you just satisfy yourself with the vegetables and the fruit. And the thing is, you won't be as hungry because if you mow down on vegetables, you have to eat a lot to get full. And the thing is, the reason why people get hungry all the time, people think it's because I just need to eat. It's for comfort food. It's, you know, it's, no, it's because you're starving on the cellular level and your body is just begging you for nutrition. So if you eat tons of nutrition, if you mow down the fruits and vegetables, your body will get everything it needs and it won't be hungry. And even if you're hungry, just eat more fruits and vegetables. You know, you can't go wrong with fruits and vegetables. I love you. Good luck on your weight loss goals. Um, I'm going to be making a lot more weight loss videos to help people out. Because I really think it's important because, you know, something like 70 or 80% of people, they say, are on a diet. And, and almost everybody's doing it for the wrong reasons or at least doing it in the wrong way. And cancer is one in two, one in three. And that's because the, the cause of cancer is um, deficiency or toxicity. And we can avoid all that. We can avoid uh, extra, excess weight with fruits and vegetables. And we can avoid deficiency and toxicity. So we solve all the problems in one shot. And they're delicious. I love you. Peace.